There were lots of reasons why the president came here to Newport News Shipbuilding. It is Virginia's largest private employer, 21,000 workers. It deals with defense. It's middle income America right here, where he could effectively deliver a message against across the board draconian cuts. The commander-in-chief quickly became the campaigner-in-chief, fighting against across-the-board budget cuts called the sequester. The sequester will weaken America's economic recovery. It will weaken our military readiness. And it will weaken the basic services that the American people depend on every single day. President Obama stood in front of a Virginia-class submarine propeller and talked to middle-class workers and told them why the sequester must be stopped. So we can avoid laying off workers or kicking kids off Head Start or reducing financial aid for college students. I don't think that's too much to ask. I do not think that is partisan. The majority of the American people agree with me. The majority of Newport News agrees with me. We need to get this done. The president told the 2,500 gathered November was his last election. The speech only had four applause lines, but this was one of them. I'm not interested in spin. I'm not interested in playing a blame game. At this point, all I'm interested in is just solving problems. All I'm interested in is making sure. And it became real clear this reelected president is most comfortable on the campaign the morning, trail, motivating, poking, prodding for the issue of the day. I need you to keep up the effort. I need you to keep up the fight. If you do, Congress will listen. If you stand up and speak out, Congress will listen. And together we will unleash our true potential and we'll remind the world just why it is the United States builds the greatest ships on earth and is the greatest nation on earth. Thank you. President Obama clearly pitted himself against Republicans in Washington, except for one Republican, local Congressman Scott Rigel. He gave him a shout out. I'll have that part of the story coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6. Guys, back to you. All right.